The passing of time sometimes seems like it goes too fast. But then we look back at something special, and for that moment, time seems to stand still. Pike has the football, pump fake short, throws it long for Gilliard, it is caught the middle. Gadouli wide open, breaks the tackle at the 12. He's in the middle, he's got his man, breaking into the clear, Armand Vins, touchdown, Bearcats. In some ways, watching the 2008 Bearcats make their improbable run to the Orange Bowl seems like just yesterday, but it wasn't. It was 10 years ago. I remember being in high school still and playing at Reading and, and now to think that it was 10 years back and we were packing Nippert Stadium and winning our first Big East championship. To me, that's, that's the craziest thing when you see guys from that team and, and you get together. It doesn't feel like that long ago, but a lot has happened since then. This past weekend, the 08 Bearcats returned to campus for a reunion and a chance to relive that special season. Oh my God, so good to see you. <laughs> History has a way of repeating itself, and that's what Mike Mickens is seeing. Once a vital part of the 2008 Bearcats, he's now a coach for the 2018 Bearcats. They care. They want to win. Um, they try to do the little things. They, uh, they go out and play with a passion. You can tell that they love the game, and uh, they come to work every day. Tony Pike has been a sideline reporter for the UC broadcast team for the past three seasons. And he sees glimpses of the 08 season everywhere, not just in the locker room. Certainly the 08, 09 seasons, that was engulfing the city. And now that you get off to a great start here, uh, the city is, is back around this team. They're recruiting locally again. So all these, all these people around the city can come and watch homegrown talent come and play for this university. And they're putting a great product on the field for it. For these Bearcats, time took a quick pause on Saturday, and again, it was 2008. Now they hope as time resumes, history repeats itself. Getting the kids to believe in, and I think that's what is happening, and uh, they're seeing it right now, and they understand uh, the plan, they understand what Coach wants, and uh, the culture is going that way. And I think coming into this year, a lot of people thought, Six and six is, is a great year, and now you're looking at, okay, we can run this table. We can make it a, a successful year. Let's go out and do it. And then you lay that groundwork or the foundation, the groundwork for years to come now with kids that want to come here and be a part of it as well.